so we've already seen a few operations on vectors a few types of vectors uh, how vectors are represented in three dimensional space we've kind of seen an overview of vectors as far as uh, our point of view is concerned we will now move on to this very interesting topic called linear combination of vectors you will see in this topic how algebra meets geometry so you would have seen this a lot of times before as well but here you will see this in terms of vectors you will see how equations of vectors or how algebraic representation of vectors can tell you how vectors are placed in space right so how algebraic equations algebraic or algebraic representations algebraic representations can tell you how vectors are placed in space so more or less three dimensional space is what we are going to deal with as far as real life is concerned but the understanding and the explanation is valid for vectors of all dimensions whether one dimension two dimensions or three dimensions that's irrelevant the understanding is valid for all the dimensions right so let's actually move on to understanding what this linear combination of vectors is so let us look at this expression so i have written an expression here let's try and analyze what this expression is so here uh, there is something that I would, have, I would like to mention if you look here this is something like x1 a bar x2 b bar x3 c bar x and n bar what is this this a bar b bar c bar d bar and so on up to n bar these are your n vectors right so they are n vectors they are they are all pointing in some directions they have their own magnitudes their magnitudes can be same or different any combination is possible right so they are all in, they are all vectors which are just placed in space they are pointing in some direction they have some magnitude right that you that you know so in this expression you already know what a bar b bar c bar and n bar are right so on up to n bar so there are n vectors there are n terms in this expression there are n terms in this expression you already know what a bar b bar c bar and so on up to n bar here is because of this right you can clearly look that okay these are all vectors but what about this x1 x2 x3 and so on up to xn like what are these so that i'll write here x1 x2 x3 so on up to xn are scalars we already know what scalars is right we already know what scalars is scalars are just nothing but they are just some real number which is multiplying which is being multiplied to this vector so if a bar is a vector x1 a bar is another vector we already know multiplication of a vector by a scalar what it will do is it will change the magnitude of a bar so a bar might become x1 a bar and if your x1 is less than 0 it might also point in the opposite direction the new vector also might point in the opposite direction if your x1 if your x1 is less than 0 if it's greater than 0 it will still point in the original direction now that's something that we already know so what we are doing here is we are picking up a vector we are multiplying that to a scalar we are picking up another vector we are multiplying that to a scalar we are picking up another vector multiplying that to a scalar like that likewise we have picked up all vectors all these n vectors we have picked them up we have multiplied each one of these vectors to some scalar to some scalar x1 x2 x3 so on up to xn and now we have equated it to zero in fact you need you need not equate it to zero this itself is a linear combination why am i calling it a linear combination because i'm not squaring any vector i'm not doing anything i'm just picking up a vector i'm multiplying that to a scalar so this x1 a bar becomes another vector right i'm picking up b bar i'm multiplying that to a scalar so this x2 b bar becomes another vector and now i'm adding these two likewise i am so these two will give rise to another vector right this is another vector so ultimately what i'm trying to tell you is all these vectors being multiplied to a scalar and then being vectorially added will finally give rise to another vector let that be r bar right so this r bar is your final vector which is a linear combination of all these vectors so this particular arrangement is called linear combination now this linear combination is a very very beautiful arrangement because this arrangement can tell you how these vectors are associated or how they are oriented in space 
right now you don't know anything about them you just know that a bar you just know a bar b bar c bar and so on up to n bar you you know all of them separately you can actually look here but uh, when i just give you the vector in its components form you don't even know how it looks like in three dimensional space you just know all these vectors separately but this linear combination that you see here there are certain things about this linear combination which can tell you how these vectors are oriented in space with respect to each other so let's look at that property of linear combination of vectors now 